all right what's going on youtube welcome back to another video thank you guys so much for stopping by this one um i just recently did a video talking about carlos so um that's why the title is the way that it is for those that watch my videos and uh, more specifically we are going to focus more so on novak but i just have to say it again in this one carlos is the future you know as novak has said and um he's got so much potential so much talent and um He's just a, a great player, and um, I look forward to seeing him produce more great results in the future. But speaking on this match specifically from the Madrid Open, which if you guys have not seen by now, Carlos ended up winning the title. He beat Alexander Zverev in the final after beating Novak Djokovic in the semifinals, and I believe it was 7-5 in the final set tiebreaker, which was not a... Um, I believe they could have gone past those as the 7-5 but it just so happens that that's where the match ended and um yeah man let's let's go ahead and get into it for those that are subscribed to my channel that are watching my videos which I just have to say I know the engagement is kind of low on the channel right now I'm working very hard to pick that back up of course and give you guys more content so uh if you guys are subscribed and um you know, you have been disappointed with my lack of uploading recently, as I always seem to apologize for. Rest assured, I am working hard to be more consistent now. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. You know, thank you for stopping by this one. I hate to interrupt uh, the actual content that we're talking about, but um, I am more than just a tennis player. And um, that's specifically or mostly the kind of content you'll get on this channel. But I hope to expand and grow and just continue to grow. So subscribe if you enjoy what you've seen thus far and uh be sure to check out some of the older videos to see more of what i have to offer but yeah man for those that know me um which i know i have at least one or two subscribers that watch the videos re regularly and that's enough for me because i enjoy this you guys know i am a huge novak fan if not the biggest novak Djokovic fan i can't really say that as i said in one one other video because i know that there's some more diehard people out there but I'm a huge Novak Djokovic fan. Um, he's my favorite athlete. I mean, I don't really pay any attention, honestly, to any other um, international sports, not even national here in the States, such as basketball or football. Novak Djokovic is just the man for me. And um, what I have to say about this match simply is that he just still is not playing his best tennis. Um, he hasn't played in a while, you know, coming back to this tournament. And even when he was playing, which I think he played a hardcore tournament right after the Australian Open, after coming back, and, um, you know, we know how the U.S. Open went. He just has not been playing like Novak Djokovic. And um, whether you agree, disagree, I know some people hear me out, at least on that point, where I've heard the commentators say, we're starting to see glimpses of Novak, or that looks like Novak Djokovic when he hits certain shots. But overall, as a Novak Djokovic fan, in my opinion, the level of play that he is producing is just not up to par as far as based on what I know that he can produce. It's certainly nowhere near close to how he has played in a couple of the prime years that he has had, whether it's 2011, 2000, I believe they say 15, 2011, or 2015. Those are the two main years everyone talks about, but let alone 2016. Uh, obviously, 2021 was a great year for him also. It, as a Novak fan, sometimes it's a little bit like disheartening just to not see him win even more and I was just told recently and I forgot about it he won three out of the four grand slams last year so that's pretty good to say in my opinion still even last year was just not it wasn't exciting and um if you watch some of my videos I think I've done two of them where I've talked about the ATP in general which I plan on doing another one uh because this the current state of where we are and uh, a friend um shown me and um basically brought to my attention the current ATP rankings where Carlos is now top 20 or something like that and Gael Monfils is up there but we don't have names like Stan Wawrinka you know Zverev is in the top 10 Felix is in the top 10 you know to me it's just it's just not the same like the, watching tennis right now is just not the same as how it was 10 years ago um let alone you know let alone 10 years ago but even five years ago it just it's just not the same since the pandemic, the whole world. I mean, of course, this has all affected us all in a, a way that, you know, does not need to be explained. But uh, for our tennis, at least, I don't know, man, I just miss the old Novak. Um, 
I really do. Um, as I pointed out, I think, in a previous video, if not the Carlos video, which I'll leave linked up above, um, which I actually I don't think I can do that on the mobile device, but um, maybe I'll link it down below. Um, it's unfortunate to hear what happened to Novak's former coach, Boris Becker, but, um, you know, just quickly putting that out there. But, yeah, man, I just, you know, this is not Novak's best. I'm happy to see that he competed all the way to the point that he did. I know that he really wanted this one, and he has already put it out there to the public media that he wants to win Roland Garros and hopes to be in his best form for that, which I think he will be. I'm praying that he will be. Um and uh yeah man that's that's just where we are carlos you know i i don't even want to give my predictions here in this video because i don't really have many as far as what he can do because i'm not going to say that this was a surprise or that his ranking right now is a surprise but it's kind of a surprise to me if you understand what i'm saying uh where yeah in this current state of the game i mean it's not about sometimes it is about timing and whatnot and at this present time um he's competing against everyone well and it's not you know we just are where we are um you know how people have compared the generations to say novak's generation versus roger's generation there's no point in even doing that stuff but at this present time looking at what carlos has to play against um and just the way he is playing truth be told um anything is possible is is my standpoint on on him and his success right now so let me know what you guys think let me know if you understand what i mean where i'm making those points because I don't want to say, like, if he played against Stan Wawrinka in Stan's prime, you know, in 2015 when Stan was competing against Novak, it just, it was a different generation of tennis. I bring up those those years and whatnot to point out that, in my opinion, if you want to see Novak's best tennis, I prefer watching his 2011 matches or 2015 matches now. He just play he hasn't found that same aggressive form from the baseline, in my opinion, and it's just a whole different level of tennis where... A lot of these guys, in my opinion, play the same game between Zverev and Medvedev and Sissipas. So that's just my opinion, one person's point of view. Um, I definitely want to hear you guys' feedback, and um, I'm excited to just keep bringing you guys more content. So I just plan to do this, do, do this video, if I can speak English, pretty quickly. Uh, just putting, putting it out there as a congratulations to Carlos. Let me slow myself down here. Congrats to him. Um, does this have any indication on how the French will go? We will see. Um, you know, Zverev is number three in the world. He got all the way to the final. That's a big uh, achievement for him. So we shall see how the French goes. But uh, I'm going to film some other content for you guys, speaking about the WTA, speaking about the ATP rankings, like I mentioned, uh, that I had just been uh, brought to the attention and made aware of. And um, yeah, man, we're going to keep rocking. So plenty more videos to come. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like. Those likes definitely help. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, man, let's, let's keep going. More videos coming. See you guys in the next one.